It was very surprising, but it was also an amazing feeling. Like we were just we were so excited. The, the moment of like relief that you feel and then like, just like pure excitement, you're like the realization of holy crap, we're gonna like we're gonna go to worlds now, like because we weren't before, and that was our last tournament. So if we didn't qualify there, we weren't gonna qualify. We had a you know completely functional uh, working robot that was we wanted to take, and it worked very, extremely well. We went in playing offensively into the competition, and that's what got us picked through our driver skill and through our drive team being able to work together so well. And we were, were able to be picked to play as like a defense bot through us playing offensively, which was super amazing to us because that was one of our goals was to be picked through what uh, we, sh we could show we could do. It just, it really came down to our driving of the robot that set us apart. So our strategy was actually to pick the thing that nobody else was gonna do, which was to trap and climb on that chain out there, if y'all saw. We were correct about that. Not a lot of teams were able to do that. So we designed our robot to be able to hit the trap and to hit the amp. So we did, we were kind of, we put speaker off to the side because we were like, everybody else is, one, is gonna do that. We wanna be different. We wanna be set apart from them. And through doing that, through get, finally getting our PID, put together thanks to our programmers, we were able to actually get the speaker as well. We finally got everything put together about uh, the day before we left for our first regional. When you're out there, it's two minutes and 30 seconds and all you are doing is relying on each other and relying on the information that, that you give each other. And I think if we didn't know and trust each other and we, if we haven't been working with each other for as many years as we have, and we wouldn't have been as successful as we were. We're also trying to pass down the torch to the younger kids because our uh, our drive team, our build team, our programming team, it's very senior, junior heavy. And, you know, as you know, we're all graduating. So we need to pass down the torch to, to the the little ones, the freshmen, sophomores, juniors. Um, and I think they've been they've been having a great time, especially at these last two competitions at regionals and worlds. Uh, it's really like I've seen the spark in them and they're really excited about it. And I think we finally restructured it enough to where we have enough of a team to hand down. And I'm just so excited to see what they're gonna put together next year. For people who maybe haven't wanted to try robotics or, or are like intimidated to join, don't be. <laughs> I mean, robotics, it is so much fun and you learn so much and you get to be with all these amazing people. And so I would just say, if you're interested in joining robotics, do it.